Hello everybody, Catboy Vine here. Do well, another after video. Where did I go this time? Well, I went to the Charlotte Minicon. Of course, there's the date. It was a one day thing. It's a really cool comic book convention um, in Charlotte. Very small. Hosted by Heroes Comics. Uh, it was pretty good. There was a lot of guests. That was nice. Uh, there were door prizes. Unfortunately, I didn't win anything. And there was also pony rides! Why? I have no idea. There was a lot of cool stuff, a lot of comic book stores from South Carolina and North Carolina were there. Very good show. It's like $3 to get in. It was really cool. Um, let's see, I got quite a lot of stuff. I want to go through each bag individually. Um, let's see, let's go through bag number one. Alright, let's see. Uh, Marvel 1. A new era begins with, um... Marvel 1. Okay, I really don't get this, but whatever. Each point one issue acts as a perfect starting point. Kicking off Marvel's biggest and most impactful stories of 2001. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Big Time, issue 648. Also, I have no idea what's going on, but whatever. And we have Black Panther, the man without fear, which is weird because that is, uh, that's Daredevil's title. That's weird. Hmm. It's really weird, actually. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. We, I got this little thing for... <clears throat> uh, Rebel Base Comics and Toys. Like, sale that will get me off on stuff. That's pretty cool next few days. Some business cards. Oh, flyer thing for Heroes Con coming up. Like in June. Uh, IDW's infest infestation storyline, which is supposed to be interconnecting with G.I. Joe, Star Trek, Transformers and Ghostbusters. Apparently full of zombies. That's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. And then I got some After Watchmen What Next comics of dark storylines that could be made into movies. Alright. The Trans Metropolitan can... I don't know. I've never heard of it. Planetary. Never read it or have heard of it. I've heard of this one. The Preacher. Uh, the Saga Swamp Thing. And... Identity Crisis. Okay, that's... Hey, they're all cheap, so I bought them. This preview guide on stuff. Apparently it's an order catalog. That was for free. This... Big 
poster. Ugh. Drawing the line at two ninety nine. Oh yeah, I heard this promotion. It's they're gonna make all comics uh, two ninety nine to be the highest price with regular single issues mostly because comics cost a lot of money now now uh, there's little flyers like for Generation Hope I don't know the storyline and Ultimate Spider-Man issue 150 I'm really surprised the, Ultimates, the Ultimate Universe is still actually running shocking actually uh, next, we got The Death of Ultimate Spider-Man. Like I said, how is the Ultimate Universe running? Well, probably the answer to that is Ultimate Spider-Man. Why kill Ultimate Spider-Man? Ultimate Spider-Man is actually good. Compared, in my first opinion, everything else is not. And there's also a crossover thing between Secret Avengers and Young Allies. Apparently they're fighting a supervillain known as Onslaught. I'm guessing, I don't know, I haven't looked at this stuff yet. Here's a poster for Iron Man! And X-Men number 7, to protect and serve. Apparently they're the police, or the military, who knows. And also, I got this uh, X-Men Sagas book, Curse of the Mutants. I haven't looked at that yet. And also in this, I got this. A autograph magnet of the Wasp. Yeah, I, I requested it. I paid like six bucks for it. It'll go really great with my Iron Man. I don't know why. It just will. Alright. Uh, time to go through bag number two. Uh, it's trades in this one, I can tell you that much. Anyway, uh, let's get to bag number two. Alright. What do we got? Uh, we got... BPRD, Volume 12, War on Frogs. And it's a pun on the War on Terror. But it's with frogs, not terror. Uh, actually, this is a bunch of small, mini single issues that appeared during the main storyline of BPRD. Got the entire collection of that. Uh, I can't think of what this thing is called right this second. It's not trade. Uh, I can't think of what it's called right this second. But anyway, it's uh, the Justice Society of America. The next age. That would look cool one. So I got it. Um, I also got... The Spectre, Tales of the Unexpected. The character of the Spectre I really, really liked. So, it's like, and I liked it, so I wanted to pick it up. Next, I got. The Just Society of America, Thy Kingdom Come, Part 3. The only part of the story I did not get. And, lastly, for trades, Catwoman, The Replacements. Wasn't there a cartoon called that? Whatever. Uh, let's see, what's next? What's next? Ah, yes. Last bag. This time with action figures. I didn't buy that much for action figures, but I got Ronin from the Marvel Universe line. 
That's pretty cool. Another ninja. The good guy ninja. Put that over there. And let's see what else. I got this white box. I paid like I paid a good amount of money for it. The guy told me there'd be a really good surprise when I got opened it. And what would it be? What it would it be? Ah, it's a figure from the Masters of the Universe classic lines from Matty Collector, or AKA Mattel. What do we got? We got Orko! Orko! What? I'm a fan! Orko is awesome! Probably my favorite character in the entire show. Because he's Orko! Magical wizard! Plus magician thing. I don't even know what he is. But he's awesome. Trust me, there is a review here. Coming very soon, hopefully. Can't wait to open this one. But, all in all, that is it. That was my experience at the Charlotte Minicon. Hopefully there's more conventions coming up soon. Well, actually, not too soon, because I have no money. Flat broke. You can see why, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm Catboy Van. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys, well, next time. Later.